uh, it's great. It's going to you know bring up the quality of football all around, bring up our team, and you know hopefully su succeed and get to the Champions League next year. But it's it's great for Irish soccer. It's it's exactly what it's needed. It's taken a long time, but finally we've we've got it going up and running. Exactly. I mean, you've been waiting for this, haven't you? Yeah, exactly. We've been waiting years. You know, it's been in it's been in the plans for years about what's going to happen, and you know, it's 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 finally come basically, and that you know we're all it's so excited and hope there's going to be a big hype about it, and you know, the game starting next month that's going to be great. And I suppose you know a big advantage for you. you know, you've already played in Europe in the Champions League, and of course the prize for winning the league is the chance to qualify for Europe again. So that that's quite an incentive, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. And you know we have you know we have our experience from this year, and hopefully we'll be able to take it into the league and do the same next year. That, but you know it's going to be such a tough competition because the prize at the end is to get into the you know obviously winning the league, but then getting into Champions League, which is the highest level you can play. So it's going to be tough competition, but we're you know definitely going to give it a good go. And I'm sure but you must be the most experienced team, obviously in the league. I mean, I'm sure you'd be the favourites now going into, considering you've already you've just played in the Champions League. Uh, well, you know that could be that could be a possibility, but it's still there's like all the best players from around around Ireland are playing on all these different squads, so it's it's by no by no way going to be easy. It's definitely going to be a challenge, and you know hopefully we can win it, and hopefully we can use our experience of what we've done. But uh, it's yeah, it's still going to be a very very tough. And how are you going to manage yourself playing in a league? You know, obviously you've got your own job as well, and and how just how are you going to manage it all? Uh, well, that's it. You've got to you know you've got to be able to commit. You've got to be able to know when your trains are. You've got to work stuff around it. And you know if it happens that you know in a few years it could be a time where it's going to turn semi-professional. So that's kind of you know what you've got to do, and then hopefully players will be able to come become professional from it as well. So it's things you just got to work around. It is tough and. You know, there's not there's not as much money in women's football at all, but that's why you've just got to work around and be committed. Yeah, are you hoping? Obviously, I mean, it's going to be the the, the first season of it now, but is that down the line? Would you hope to to turn it, you know, semi pro or become a pro? Absolutely. Well, you'd hope for this league to do it as well. You'd love to be playing your football in Ireland, staying at home, you know, build building women's football up, which I think from you know how Irish women's teams have done in the past couple of years, it uh, it showed that it's growing and it's growing fast and. You know, with the with the senior Irish team as well being in the Europeans, so it's all it's all grown and it's all coming coming together at the right time.